Good morning, good morning, good morning to those of you who are on. I want you to say good morning and I want you to say good morning and where you're listening to this or where you're watching this this morning. Glory to God. I'm saying good morning all the way from Fredericksville, Fredericksburg, Missouri this morning. Good morning to Millis and Scott. Millie, I want you to share this with your mom this morning. Good morning to Nola Vance. Good morning. I want you to put what city and state that you're listening or that you're watching this in with your good morning. I'm all the way here in Fredericksburg, Missouri. Good morning to Mother Christine Brown, who's in New York City. Hallelujah to my sister Millicent Scott in Huntsville. I want you to put what city and state as we're tagging, as we're sharing this morning. What a powerful and impactful prayer focus we have this morning. Listen, I want you to understand this. It's just one word, our prayer focus for today, but it's a powerful word. And our prayer focus for today is change. Glory to God, change with your mom. I want you to share this with your mom this morning. There's a prophetic word for your mother this morning. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I want you to share it with her now. Glory to God. She'll have to listen through for it when the Lord releases it, but there's a prophetic word for your mother. Good morning to Pastor James Carline in Troy, Michigan. Hallelujah. To Minister Rachel Merritt at Grand Rapids. Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning to D. Ward from Trenton, Michigan. Good morning, Sister D. I'm glad that you're on with us this morning. Listen, I just want to share the word of the Lord with you today. As last night, as I was laying down, meditating before I was going to going to sleep. Good morning to my brother Kendrick Rouser. As I was laying down last night, glory to God, meditating and what he dropped in my spirit was change, change. And I heard the words of Tremaine Hawkins, a wonderful change has come over me. Glory to God. I believe I put it in the rotation for our instrumental music this morning. I believe it might be the song coming up next, but I heard those words change. He said, and I want you to tell a group of people, he said, because this isn't for everybody. This is just for a group of people who've already set in their minds, glory to God. They've already set in their hearts the change that they desire in their life. Let them know that that change is about to come. I also heard the words of the song from Sam Cook. A change is about to come. Glory to God. For somebody who's listening to this this morning, the change of your life is getting ready to come. The change of your life is getting ready to manifest because you've already set your heart to understand 
Daniel in the 10th chapter, when Daniel was praying 20 and one days, the angel of the Lord came to Daniel and said, Daniel, you've been praying, you've been seeking God for 21 days, but I want you to know that the very first day that you've set your heart to understand, the very first day you've set your heart to change, the very first day that you've opened yourself up to be used to the glory of God, God said, we heard you. And today, this isn't for everybody. This is just for the people of God who have set their heart for change. Glory to God. This is the reason why I, I, I chose for the, for, for the visual of on your screen, if you're watching this, not just listening to it, you'll see it say change is loading. I don't know who that is for this morning, but that is prophetic for somebody this morning. Your change is loading, not tomorrow, not next week. Your change is loading today. Your change is loading right now. And because you've set your heart for this change, God said, I'm going to manifest it. Good morning to my sister Annette Brown, to my sister Arlena Matthews. Glory to God in Union City, Georgia. God said change is loading this morning. God has said, and the change is going to come quickly. The change is going to come quickly. The change is going to come quickly because you've set your heart to change because you set your mind to change. God said, I'm coming quickly with change. Hallelujah. I'm coming quickly with change. And the change that I'm bringing, hallelujah, is the change that you've been looking for. Is the change that you've been praying for. Hallelujah. Ephesians chapter 5, verse uh, 16. Glory to God. Says, see then that you walk circumspectfully, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time because the days are evil. What does he mean, redeeming the time? God said, I'm getting ready to, hallelujah, buy back all your lost time. The word redeem is an accounting term, which means to buy again or to buy back, to repurchase something that you've already purchased. God said, I own the time, but you've lost time. I'm getting ready, hallelujah, to redeem the time for your sake. Glory to God, because you set your heart for change. And this change is coming quickly. This change is coming quickly. I heard this in the spirit this morning. And so I already put it up in the, in, in the realm for the scripture. Glory to God. Look at the scripture this morning. Hallelujah. Isaiah 43 and 19 says this out of the New King James Version. Behold, I will do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth. Shall you not know it? I will even make a road in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. God said what I'm getting ready to do in your life because you've made up in your mind for this change. Hallelujah. Again, let me preface my what I'm saying today. It is only set for a group of people. It's not for everybody. Everybody had to have their mind set for change. For the folks whose mind haven't changed. God said, I have to delay what I want to do in your life because I don't want you to squander the gift. I don't want you to waste the blessing. I don't want you to spill the outpouring of what I have for you because you have not set your mind to change. I cannot release the finances because you'll waste it. Glory to God. Until your mind is changed, I have to delay. Until your mind is ready, until you're ready to receive what I've ordained for your life, I have to hold back. I have to withhold what I have for you. But when your mind changes, glory to God. Good morning to my brother Roger Hutchins in Waterford, Michigan. God bless you. Hallelujah. Until your mind is ready, I'll hold on to what I have for you. Until your mind, your mentality, hallelujah, is change and focus on the things that I have for you. I have to withhold my, my blessing from you. I'm not denying you. I'm just delaying it. Glory to God. I don't know who I'm talking to this morning. God said, I want to release unto you Deuteronomy 28 and 12. I want to open unto you my good treasures. I want to bless you like never before, but your mind has to change. Change. Change, change, glory to God, change. Who am I talking to this morning? Change, change. Then he said, tell him, Romans 12, one and two. 
I beseech you therefore, brother, Paul is begging the Roman church. He's begging you. He said, I beg you, brethren, by the mercies of God that you present, you present, you present your bodies a living sacrifice, meaning you do the work, you set the discipline, you make the changes so that you're presentable unto God, holy, acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service. He said, and don't be conformed. Don't be shaping. Don't be fashioned. Hallelujah. Into the image of this world. He said, but I need you to be transformed. Change in the Hebrew, in the Greek. Hallelujah. Metamufu, which means to be changed. He said, by the renewing, another accounting word. We're going to renew. I'm going to renew. I'm going to do something that has already been done. I'm returning it to its original state. Renewing of your mind that you may prove that which is good and acceptable and the perfect will of God. Glory to God. He says, when you make the change, I can release what I have for you. When you make the change, glory to God. When you make the change, I can release what I have for you. It's a change. And when you change your mind, glory to God. Good morning to my sister, Keisha Kanyas and, 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 and Miami Gardens, Florida. When you make the change, God says, then everything else in your life will change. The things in your life that's not changing is because you haven't changed your mind about that thing. You haven't changed your mind, your mentality, your thinking about that thing. And when you change your mind about that thing, thing god said everything about that thing and your viewpoint and your perspective is going to change who am i talking to change change god said i'm getting ready to do something new it's going to be swift it's going to be quick it's going to happen fast for those who change their mind now you may have been in the process of this change for years but god said the manifestation the result hallelujah the conclusion of your change and the process that you've gone through is going to happen swiftly. Hallelujah. It's getting ready to happen in this season. Hallelujah. I don't know who I'm talking to, but it's in this season. The change is getting ready to come. For somebody, it's a total career change. You've been doing this thing for years, but God said, the change that I have for you is bringing you out of the environment that you've been in. This environment has been an incubator. Glory to God. This environment has been preparing you for the next environment. Where you are now, glory to God, has only been preparation. It's been boot camp. It's been training for what I'm getting ready to do in your life. I put you through the hell you've been through. I put you through the changes that you've been through. I may, I've allowed you to go through situations dealing with other people so that I can prepare you for what's getting ready to happen in your life. And because you've changed your mind, you've passed this last season into a new season where I can do something new. Glory to God, change, 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 change. I'm getting ready to do something new, said the Lord. I'm getting ready to do something new, said the Lord. I'm getting ready to do something new. This isn't for everybody. This isn't for everybody. I don't want everybody getting happy. This is only for the people who's positioned themselves for the change. Woo! This is only for the people. Good morning to my sister Natasha Peach and Bishop Celestine Todd. This is only for the people. Glory to God. Who set their mind for change. Hey, this is only for the people who's made up in their mind that I desire the change. I'm tired of going in the direction I've been going. I'm looking for God to do something new. God said, because your heart has changed. Just like he told Daniel, for the day that you set your heart to understand, we heard you. God said, I heard you. And so the change is loaded. Ah, this morning, the change is loaded. The change is loaded. And this is a fresh, hallelujah, download. Psalm 68 and 19. Daily, he loadeth us with benefits. Today, somebody's getting downloaded. Matthew 6 and 11, give us this day our daily bread. God said, today, I'm loading you. I'm loading you. I'm loading you. It's loading. The change is loading. The change is loading. 
the change is loaded because you set your mind to understand. Millicent, I, if you shared this word with your mom, hallelujah. I don't know where we are in the time schedule, but you can look at the time signature and you can tell her at this time, this word is for Cassandra Scott. Hallelujah. This morning as I was preparing and meditating, the Lord dropped this in my spirit for her. Hallelujah. That the Lord. Hallelujah. That the Lord, glory to God. Hallelujah. Is restoring. Hallelujah. Unto her the years that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the caterpillar, and the locust has eaten. He's restoring unto her, hallelujah, her joy. He's restoring unto her, hallelujah, her, her, her vigor and her, her fervency for him, hallelujah. It's going to be just like in the days when she first said yes to the Lord. It's going to be just like in the days, hallelujah, when she got saved, that excitement, that joy again. And the prophetic mantle that's on her life is going to flow like never before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's going to flow like never before. Hallelujah. What God has been dealing with her. Hallelujah. In this new season. Hallelujah. Glory to God is a fresh and a new work in her life. Hallelujah. And the words that he's putting in her mouth in this season is more potent than any other experience she's ever had with God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God, oh, bless your name, Jesus. God said, I'm refreshing her in this season. It's like pressing F5 on your keyboard. Hallelujah. That refreshes the screen. God says, oh, glory to God. I'm refreshing her even now. I'm downloading her, hallelujah, for the word, hallelujah, in this season. Not just concerning her family, not just concerning ministry, but I hear God say, a hallelujah, in time events, glory to God, the things that shall come. He's about to give her an insight of the things that's getting ready to happen. Hallelujah. The, what the Lord is sharing with her is things that's going to happen not afar off. Glory to God. Things that are getting ready to happen in the seasons that are to come is not going to be long, said the Lord, with the things that I'm placing in her spirit that shall come out of her mouth. It shall surely come to pass, said the Lord. Father, I thank you this morning. I, I praise you this morning. I bless you this morning. God, and that as we are in this season of change, that as are, we are in this season of change, what you're doing in our lives, Father, change our hearts. Change our hearts this morning. Change our hearts this morning. That our hearts will be set on you. Change our hearts this morning. That our hearts will be set on you. As we relinquish, ah, God, as we give up, as we turn over and we submit our hearts to you, oh God, we say yes, 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 yes. Come on, just type on the line, yes, Lord. Father, we say yes, yes, Lord. From the bottom of our hearts, we say yes, we say yes, we say yes, yes to your will, yes to your way. Yes, oh God, we'll obey what you tell us. Oh God, we will do what you tell us. We'll say what you say. Hallelujah for us to say. Oh yes, Lord. We say yes. Good morning to Minister Carmen Jordan. We say yes. Good morning to Sandra Elliott. We say yes, 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 Lord. Yes, Lord. We say yes out of our spirit. We say yes out of our soul. We say yes, oh God. Yes, all day. Yes, all evening. Yes, all night. We say yes, God. We want to change. We want this change. We want this newness. We want this newness. Oh, God, show us how to do the work. Show us how to have discipline. Show us how to be sober. Show us how to be vigilant in this season. Father, that we don't miss what you have for us. We say yes, God. Yes to the change in our life. Yes to the term. I hear God say, there's a term coming. We talked about a term yesterday. He said, but it's a full term today. It's a full term today. We say, Say yes to this term, yes to this curve, yes to this new way, yes to this new direction. We say yes, God, yes, God. We're willing, we're willing, we're willing, we're willing. We say yes, God. 
Yes to this change. Yes to this new direction. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Our souls say yes. Our souls say yes. Our souls say yes. Father, we won't fight. We won't kick against the prick. Father, we're going to go in your direction. We're going to go where you lead us. We're going to go where you tell us to go. Father, we trust in the Lord with all of our heart. And we lean not to our own understanding. And all of our ways, we acknowledge you, O oh God, for you to direct our path. Lead us, O oh God. God, guide us into the plain path. You're the shepherd. We are the sheep. Lead us into your green pastures. You lead us beside still waters. Father, lead us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lead us in will, Father. Speak, Lord, and your servant shall hear. Oh God, we say yes, 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 yes. Yes, God. Yes, yes to this change. Yes to this newness. Yes, God, we say yes. Yes, 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 yes. Hallelujah, minister, minister. Hallelujah, Bessie Donaldson. Minister Bessie Donaldson, the challenge that you're having in your finances. Hallelujah. It's always a struggle. It's always a fight. Hallelujah, because the enemy don't want you to be financially free. Hallelujah. But in this season, I hear the Lord saying, hallelujah, you got to, you got to fight this back. You got to fight this enemy back who's warring with you in your finances and the way that you do it. Glory to God. God said you got to get disciplined in the area of your finances and you got to create a budget. And when you create that budget, you got to live by that budget. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm going to advise to you. Hallelujah. To look up Dave Ramsey's debt snowball. I don't agree with 100% of what Dave Ramsey says. Hallelujah. But the debt snowball of how to get out of debt, glory to God, paying your smallest debt to your largest debt in that order. Hallelujah. Making the sacrifices. Hallelujah. That means if you got to eat ramen noodles, glory to God, then you eat ramen noodles. Glory to God. Until you get this thing under control. God said he wants you to be free financially so you can do what he's called you to do. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Millicent Scott. Glory to God. Millicent says she can help with your budget and she has, hallelujah, the debt snowball. Hallelujah. Method and the uh, sample budget. Hallelujah. To help you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God so that you can get this thing under control. God said, I want to free you. I want to free you. That's just not for Bessie Donaldson. That's who the Lord showed me. But there's many others of you who are on here who needs this same methodology, who needs this same teaching, who needs to get this under control. God said, I want to free you. Hallelujah. Before 2022 is over, I want to free you. I want to release you of the debt. Glory to God. Ha, hallelujah. And the Lord says, when you step out on faith and you begin the process, God said, then I'll begin to work in the realm of the supernatural. When you begin the process and start paying off debt, God said, then I'll start canceling debt. I wish somebody would type on the line, glory to God, debt cancellation. Hallelujah. Debt cancellation. I speak it in the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. Debt cancellation. Supernatural debt cancellation. Oh, God, I believe it. 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 Oh, glory to God. Hey, glory to God supernatural debt cancellation i speak it supernatural debt cancellation it's happening in your favor supernatural debt cancellation hallelujah either he's going to cancel it completely or he's going to supernaturally provide the finances to cancel that debt it's getting ready to, oh glory to god to happen Hallelujah. In the in this season and in the next season, supernatural debt cancellation in the name of Jesus is getting ready to happen. It's 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 getting ready to happen in the lives of some people. Oh, glory to God who's believing and hearing this word and their mind is prepared and set for change. Oh, glory to God. I beseech you. I beg of you. I place urgently in your spirit, my brethren, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, which means you got to do the work. 
You got to do the work. You got to make the presentation. You got to get the discipline. You have to have the self-control. You got to make the change. And when you make the change, oh, glory to God. God said, I'm going to take that change as a seed. Hallelujah. And that seed is going to produce and bring forth a harvest in your life that is going to change the trajectory. Hallelujah. Of where you're going. This change that's getting ready to happen is going to bless your life. Father, we honor you this morning. Oh, we honor you. We honor you for the change that's loading. For the change that's loading. Good morning to my sister. Hallelujah. Andrea Fowler. Hallelujah. There in Houston, Texas. Hallelujah. Don't forget, if you're just coming on, say good morning and put what city and state. Hallelujah. That we can shift. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hey, glory to God. Blessed Savior. Blessed Savior. Blessed Savior. The algorithm. Hallelujah. Pastor James Car Carline. Hallelujah. The Lord said, what do you want me to do? Hallelujah. What do you want me to do? Because you've set your heart to understand, just like he told King Solomon. Hallelujah. When he, he visited Solomon in a, in, a, in a vision, he said, what will you have for me to do? Because Solomon had made a sacrifice. He sacrificed tens and thousands of ram oxen uh, and bullocks before the Lord. And the Lord appeared unto him. He said, what will you have me to do for you? Solomon didn't ask for riches. He didn't ask for the heads of his enemies. Hallelujah. He didn't ask for a great kingdom. Solomon asked for wisdom. He said, because you've asked me for wisdom, glory to God, because you didn't ask me for riches, because you didn't ask me for the head of your enemies, and you asked me for wisdom and knowledge. He said, I'm going to give you wisdom and knowledge. He said, and then I'm going to add to the wisdom and knowledge, and I'm going to give you what you didn't ask me for. I hear the Lord saying, Pastor James Carlisle, ask me what what you want me to do for you. Ask me what you will have me to do for you in this season. Ask me, said the Lord. Ask me, said the Lord. Oh, glory to God. Blessed name. Blessed name of the Lord. 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 Hallelujah. We thank you for change. We thank you for change. Change is getting ready to come. Change is loading for somebody. Change is loaded. Put on the screen, somebody, Psalms 68, 19. Daily he loadeth us with benefit. He's loading this change. 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 Glory to God in the highest. Father, you're worthy. Worthy you are. Worthy you are. Worthy you are. Thank you, Minister Carmen Jordan. Worthy you are. Worthy you are. Worthy you are. Glory to God. Ah, hallelujah. Ah, hallelujah. Minister Carmen Jordan, I hear the Lord said, I'm bringing you out of a dry season. Hallelujah. I'm bringing you out of dry season. And I don't mean water and I don't mean thirst. I don't mean like a wilderness season. But it's a, a dry season of hearing of hearing from the Lord. God said, I'm going to allow you to hear me clearly. I'm removing the distractions. I'm removing the things that have blocked your ability to hear me clearly, said the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. In this new season, in this season of change, I'm going to allow you to hear me clearly, said the Lord. Hallelujah. And you will hear me directly. Hallelujah. It won't be through others. You will hear me directly. Glory to God. And the confirmation from others, hallelujah, will be to you as a sign that I, the Lord God, am dealing with you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. God said, I'm taking you off the milk. Hallelujah. Feeding off of the breast of others. Being dependent upon others. God said, I want you dependent on me. Oh, glory to God. In this season. Oh, glory to God. God said, I can take your business. I can take, hallelujah, your cooking, your sweets, your desserts. Hallelujah. And I can make it a household name if you trust me. If you trust me, if you believe me, oh, glory to God. And hear what I have to say. Glory to God. Father, I bless you. I honor you. Even right now. Even right now. Even right now. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. Do it, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
to my sister Natasha Peach. I'm lifting up your husband right now in the name of Jesus. I'm praying strength, strength over his life. Hallelujah. I don't know if this is a spiritual indication or if this is a physical indication, but I see him in the spirit like he's he's weary. He's tired. It's like he's slumped over. He's bent over as if he's getting ready to faint. But I speak now strength that the spirit of the Lord hallelujah will pour strength into my brother thomas peach even right now in the name of jesus encourage his soul lift up his spirits oh god in the name of jesus oh god give him strength right now strength 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 do it now 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 in the name of jesus hey 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 Oh, do it now. Strength in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Strength, 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 strength. I command that he hold on. I command that he hold out in the name of Jesus. I command. Even as he has work, as he at work, I lift him up, oh God, and encourage his heart. Hallelujah. Let the angels of the Lord Hallelujah, be deployed. Let the angels of the Lord be dispatched on his behalf. You said that you've given us, you've given the angels charge over us. I speak to his angels that have charge over his life, that hearken unto the voice of the Lord. Ye his angels, you his ministers, who excel in strength according to the word of the Lord. In Psalm, I pray now to go forth and strengthen my brother. I pray now that you encourage him in the name of Jesus. Hey, shakan. Oh, oh father i believe you i believe you i believe you in this season i believe you what you're doing even right now on behalf of your people do it now glory to god do it now do it now father you said in your word be not weary in well doing for in due season you shall reap. If you faint not, I speak right now that he holds on, that he keeps on doing well. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for encouragement in his heart. Father, even in the things of his life, I'm still praying for Thomas' speech because I see it. Glory to God. Even in the things of his life that he's unsure of. Father, that he don't have the confidence in. Build him up on his most holy faith, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, have your way. Have your way, have your way in the name of Jesus. Hiya. Oh, glory to God. Have your way, oh Lord. Have your way, oh Lord. Even now, even now, even now, even now. Hallelujah. Blessed Savior. Thank you for doing it. 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 Right now, in the name of Jesus, change, change, change is loading. This isn't a word for everybody. It's just a word for the people who's ready for change, who've already set their mind for change. This is a word for them. Change, change, change. Oh, what a change that's happening. Oh, that's taking place. Even in the realm of the spirit, even right now, change. Glory to God. Come on, receive your change. Receive your change. I speak increase. Andrea Fowler, I speak increase. Increase in your business. Father, sensitize her heart. Let the spirit of discernment for the marketplace come upon her now. That she'll be able to discern those who are business partners and those who are patrons, even now in the name of Jesus, sharpen the gift even now to make her more efficient and more effective in this season. Oh, glory to God. Father, I thank you for the Holy Ghost of God that's over her life, that you've given her the edge, you've given her the advantage, you've given her glory to God, that that others don't possess. And because she's a part of your kingdom, God, just as, hallelujah, you just performed signs and wonders for her life the other day. 
Hallelujah. Glory to God. In the finding of the missing money. Oh, do it now. Uncover and reveal that hidden talent, that hidden treasure that is within her to connect her with those that you've already set aside just for her and her business. Father, I say thank you even right now for doing it, doing it, for doing it. God, that she will excel, that she will go over and above her colleagues. Hallelujah. Ah, glory to God, because you've given her insight through the Holy Spirit. You've given her insight through the Holy Ghost. Do it now. Do it now. Thank you for financial increase. And hallelujah. God, that you're going to increase it and then you're going to cause it to overflow. Oh, blessed Savior, right now in the name of Jesus. Ah, glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father, we love you. And we bless you right now for your anointing. According to Isaiah, 20, Isaiah 10 and 27, that said, it shall come to pass in that day that the yoke, that the burden shall be removed off of his shoulder and that the yoke shall be lifted from off of his neck and the yoke shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yoke destroyer, burden bearer, power of God. be released over our life this morning as we're seeking you for change as we're seeking you for this change my God yes God Hallelujah. as we seek you for this change have your way have your way even now thank you for revealing it in the season to your prophets. What you have planned, your secrets, your mysteries. Thank you. Oh God, do it now. Do it now. For every person on this live stream, this morning prayer and inspiration, do it now. For every person who's listening right now, regardless of when the now is, the now could be later, but it's now. Thank you for right now sending a shockwave of your anointing through this medium, this live stream now. Thank you for my brother Donald Brown. In the name of Jesus. Yee! Hallelujah. Come on, if you're still on here, I want you to thank the Lord wherever you are. Whether it's in your room, in your kitchen, preparing your lunch, getting breakfast ready, getting the kids out of bed. Whether you're driving down the freeway, wherever you are right now, thank him. Right now. Glory to God. Change. 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 Even by way of deliverance, change. Even by way of breakthrough, change. Oh, glory to God. I thank you. I thank you. <laughs> I thank you. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Right now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Brother Kendrick Rouser, I hear the Lord say, If you trust me, I'll prove to you again. He said, I've already proven to you that I'm God. But if you trust me in this thing, whatever it is that's in front of you, that seems hard and even impossible. The Lord said, if you trust me in this thing, I'll prove to you that I am the God of everything I say. If you trust me. Trust me with your life. Woo! Trust me with your family. And I'll prove to you, said the Lord, that I'm God. My God. Father, we bless you. Father, we bless you. 
Father, we trust you. Father, we honor you. Even right now. In the name of Jesus. Woo! Glory to God. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Change. Change. For those who set their heart to change, he said, I'm moving on your behalf. Watch me work. Bless me as I work. Bless me as I manifest unto you that I am God. Glory to God in the highest. Father, I love you. Father, I trust you. I believe you to do and to be what you say. In the name of Jesus. Somebody glorify him. Somebody magnify him. He's worthy. You're worthy of glory. You're worthy of honor. We say hallelujah to your name. Blessed Savior. Mighty God. What an anointing flowing through this prayer this morning. Somebody's going to receive just what they've been waiting for from the Lord. And as you do, don't forget to share. Glory to God. Do not forget to share your testimony with us. Don't forget to share your testimony. Glory to God in the highest. Don't forget to share that testimony that the Lord has done just what he said he was going to do. Father, we love you. And we bless you in your son Jesus' name. <sighs> Glory to God. Listen, I want to give our daily affirmation. But before I give our daily affirmation, I want you to know that starting tomorrow, that tomorrow morning we'll begin our next outreach fundraiser which is Bibles for India. We made contact with VOM, which is the group that we're going to partner with, who already sends Bibles to various countries in the world. And India is one of their countries where they actually have missionaries on the ground. Hallelujah. And so we're gonna begin our fundraiser tomorrow for Bibles for India. I just want you to thank God with us. Glory to God for this project that we have and this undertaking that we're getting ready to embark on. And our prayer is that every Bible that is given into a hand of a believer in India is a life that's given a new life that is submitted and given over to God, that somebody will receive salvation through that Bible, that there's a life coming to Christ in every Bible. So tomorrow we're gonna to start our new outreach, Bibles for India, glory to God. Starting tomorrow on Friday, January 28th, glory to God. Let's say our daily affirmation that says everything for me. Glory to God. Let me, let me focus. Everything that's for me will be great health and prosperity. Every loss will benefit me because it wasn't even meant to be. Wins and victory will come easily. 
like counting from one to three. Everything that's for me will be directly designed for me. I'm going to say it again. Everything that's for me will be great health and prosperity. Every loss will benefit me. Wins and victory will come easily like counting from one to three. Everything that's for me will be directly designed for me. Listen, I love you. There's absolutely, positively, unequivocally, and emphatically nothing you can do about it. I want you to go to go in peace. Go in purpose. Go in power. In Jesus' name. Be blessed. Receive your change.